Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning, Pastor Jackson. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Sister Nicholson. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Mary. Good morning, Angie. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Hilton. God bless you. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Horton. God bless you, Sister Sessions. Good morning, Sister Kim. God bless you. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Walker. Praise the Lord. Good morning, Lady McEwen. All the way from Canada. God bless you. God bless you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Lady Holden. God bless you. Good morning, Lady Newkirk. Good morning, Sister Hodges. God bless you. God bless you. Well, praise the Lord, everybody, as we gather in to this morning <clears throat> prayer time. We are grateful to the Lord, grateful to the Lord for life, health, and strength, and grateful to God for everything that he is to us. The Lord continues, continues to bless us. I am so thankful. God bless you, everybody coming in. Thank God for you. I am so thankful to be in the house of God today. This is the house of God for me because anytime we gather together, it becomes the Lord's house. And for those things, we are indeed grateful. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassion fails not, but it's made new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So it's a blessing to be able to fellowship with all of you this morning in the word and in prayer. As always, if you have a prayer request, please place it in the comment or send it to me um, as a private message so that we can um, bring those things before the Lord because the Lord has something that he is going to do today. And I am grateful. Thank God. We have a lot to pray about today, but I'm confident that the Lord is going to do something special. I want us to return and we're still in this sixth chapter of the Gospel of St. John, and it is a deep chapter. It is one of the longest chapters of the New Testament because it contains so much information that I believe is vital to our understanding of our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So, so much that we need to focus on this for just a few moments in the name of Jesus Christ. So you'll find us in St. John chapter number six and if you would please notice verse number 34 34 then said they unto him lord evermore give us this bread and jesus and jesus said unto them i am the bread of life he that cometh to me shall never hunger and he that believeth on me shall never thirst but I say unto you that ye have seen also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him whom to, that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which have sent me that of all that he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. I will raise him up at the last day. Jesus is continuing to share from this notion of he being the living bread. And he talks about it. And I think it's very safe to say that those to whom he shared this discourse did not understand, nor did they, many of them believe about the notion of Jesus being bread. He says to them in verse 33 that I am the bread that comes down from heaven 
wasn't the manna that you ate and that your fathers ate in the wilderness. It was, it is me. I'm the living bread because I'm the life giver. In in, in this culture, um, this is this before everybody tried to be gluten free. Bread was a standard. You could not have anything, any meal, any um, food, any substance that did not involve bread. Bread was the staff of life. It's what has been called historically. And so it was even the position of the government that in times of crisis, if we couldn't do anything else, we had to provide bread. So he's saying when he says he's the bread, he's saying he is the source of life. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the source of life. He is the basis of life. He is where we generate and derive life from. The, 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 the people that followed him over into Capernaum were, were stuck on the bread that he made the day before. And so they say, Lord, give us this bread. Give us this bread. We want this bread. We don't want to shop anymore. We don't want to bake anymore. We don't want to worry about where bread's going to come from. Give us this bread. And he shifts and makes this very bold statement. I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Oh, hallelujah. He says, I am the bread. I am the source of your life. I am the basis of your life. In fact, you don't even have life, real life outside of me. You don't have real connection outside of me because I'm the bread of life. And if you come, now this is important because some people have this notion that just because Jesus provides it, that I have it. No, you have to come and get it. Oh God, look at this again. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. Is not just going to come out of nowhere. If you believe that Jesus is the source of life, you got to come to him. You've got to connect with him. You've got to make yourself available. Oh, I got, oh, I like that. Make yourself available to him because his deliverance, his redemption, his power, his life is not just going to take, it will not take you by force. And, and please understand that your will is as much a part of what God does in your life as anything else. And most of the time, the reason why we don't receive the totality of what God's offering offers to us is because we don't align our will to his will. He says in this text, I am the bread. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. If you make yourself available to Jesus Christ, if you make yourself open to Jesus Christ, if you make yourself, hallelujah, uh, uh, avail yourself to him, he says what? You're not going to hunger. When, when you live your life in surrender, in submission to Jesus Christ, yes, you will still have trials. Yes, you will still have challenges. But guess what? You have fellowship. You got bread. Ah, oh, God, I may not have money, but I got bread. Oh, God, I may not be as well as I want to be right now, but I've got bread. I may not, oh, shatana, hey, God, have everything that I think I need, but I have bread because I've made myself available. And if you believe on him, you shall never never thirst. That's the same thing he told the woman at the well, that he was that living water. So he's bread and water. Oh my God, satisfies my hungers, satisfies my thirst. He's bread and water. In other words, he is everything. Oh God, everything that I need. But I say unto you that ye have seen me and believe not. And, and what a terrible thing to, to see the power of Jesus Christ, to see the glory of Jesus Christ, to see him revealing himself and you somehow miss what he's doing, what he's saying. Hallelujah. You miss it because you're just not getting what the Lord is trying to share. And there are a lot of people sometimes that miss what the Lord is doing. The Lord is trying to give them something, trying to show them something, trying to reveal something, but they miss what the Lord is doing. They miss it. They miss it. They miss it. Hallelujah. They miss it. And they miss what the Lord is trying to reveal. And so as they come away empty, you know, it's amazing to me how people can go to the same service 
and one leave the service completely delivered and healed and blessed and saved and the other one leave the service complaining because everybody that comes doesn't get there. Mm. Everybody that comes doesn't get there because he says, you see me, but you don't believe. All that the Father, verse 37, have given, giveth me, shall come to me, and him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. The Father has given Jesus the world, all, everything inclusive, every person has been given the opportunity to come to Jesus. But in reality, everybody doesn't come. Everybody doesn't come. And he says, and if you come, I will in no wise cast out. That is such an assurance. Oh, my God. That is such an assurance that if I come to Jesus, he will not reject me. Oh, God, I need somebody to get this. I need somebody to get this because there is such a sense of rejection in the world. There are so many people that feel like nobody cares for them and nobody will receive them and everybody wants something from them. But here is Jesus saying that everybody that the Father sends to me, everybody that the Father gives to me, and if you come, oh, God, it's not enough. It's not enough. Listen to me. It's not enough that the Father gives you to Jesus. You've got to come to Jesus. That means you have to make a decision that you're going to come to Jesus Christ. You can't sit back and say, you know, I'm just waiting. And, and say, I want to be very real that I believe there's a, there's a window, there's a window, there's a window that when God speaks to you, when the Holy Spirit is working with you, when Jesus is drawing you, you need to respond to the window. That's why we've got to pray for our sons and pray for our daughters and pray for those outside of the ark of safety. Pray for the backsliders. Pray for those that are drifting. Pray for those who are dying, that they don't miss the window. Because here's the blessing. If you come, oh my God, he will in no wise cast out. He will not reject you. He will not reject you. For he came down from heaven, not to do his own will, but the will of him that sent me. Now, Jesus always talked about the Father, and it was not to imply a trinity. It was not to imply there being three gods. It was not to imply that there were three. It was to re reveal the fact that as the Son, he lived in submission to the Father. He lived in submission to the Father to remind us that we have to live in submission to God. He was setting the example that he was not here to do his own thing. He was not here to ingratiate himself, but he was here to serve. And he was not seeking his own will, but the will of the Father. And the will of the Father is indeed the will of the Son. It is indeed. So he wasn't trying to carry out a carnal, natural agenda. He was not trying to carry out an earthly agenda, a self-satisfying agenda, but he has come to carry out the will of the Father. Why? He, he does this. He said, this is, the, this is the Father's will which sent me, that of all that he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. I, oh God, I need y'all to get this. Jesus says, I, it's the will of God that no one is lost. I've said this often. It's the will of God that no one is lost. If you are lost, my brother, my sister, if somebody that is lost, it is not God's will. People sometimes say, well, how can a just loving God send people to hell? God doesn't send people to hell. People go to hell against the will of God. People are going to be lost against the will of Jesus Christ because it is not his will that any should perish. It, God wants everybody saved. When I mean everybody, I mean everybody, but some people are not going to come. Even though the Father has called them, he, 
And even though the son has opened the doors to them, even though Jesus says, I will not cast you out. There is somebody that's going to be so stubborn, so rebellious, so self-willed that they will not come. But my God, if you come to Jesus, guess what? You, he is, he, you, he, he's not going to lose you. I need you to get this. If you come to Jesus, don't worry about whether or not you're going to make it. If you come to Jesus, if you surrender to Jesus, if you submit to Jesus, he says, I will lose nothing. I'm going to hold you. I'm going to carry you. I'm going to keep you. I'm going to feed you. I'm going to save you. I'm going to sustain you. I'm not going to lose you. Oh God, if the father has entrusted you into the hands of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ has promised, I will not lose you. Oh God, what does that mean? He already said, I won't cast you out. I won't reject you. The only way the only way for you not to be saved is for you to run out. Mm. I need y'all to get this because all of us have our flaws. All of us have our challenges. All of us have the things that perplex us, that upset us, that sometimes cause us to be weary. But here's the Lord saying to us that if you come, if you come, I'll receive you. And I, if I receive you, I'll keep you. Oh, Kataya Shama. Oh, God. If you, if you come, I'll receive you. And if I receive you, I'll keep you. He says, I'm not going to lose you. Oh, hallelujah. I'm, I'm going to the cross so I don't lose you. I'm going to the cemetery so I don't lose you. I'm going to hell, oh God, so I don't lose you. And at the last day, I'm going to raise you up. Oh God, I'm so excited that when Jesus comes, when the rapture comes, when, oh God, when he comes back for the church, oh God, whether I'm in the dirt, oh Shama, in a grave or walking on the earth, he has promised to receive me. He has promised to raise me up. He says, nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm going to lose nothing, but I'm going to raise it all up at the last day. Hey, God, and this is the will of him that sent me. This is the will of God, that everyone that seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up on the last day. It is the will of God that you are saved. It is the will of God. I'm, oh God, I'm going to speak it because it's the truth. It's the will of God that your son and your daughter is saved. I don't care where they are. I don't care what they're doing right now. He says, this is the will of God that everyone which seeth the son, everyone that perceiveth the son, everyone that has a connection with the son and believes and believes on him may have everlasting life. That's the will of God. Saints, I'm excited today that it's the will of God that I be saved. It's the will of God that I have a connection with him. It's the will of God, hallelujah, that I live and I walk. Oh God, think about it. Think about it. I, I shared my testimony a few, a few days ago about how God brought my grandmother in and from her, my mother, and from my mother, my siblings and I. Oh God, that, that, that's, that's the will of God. We didn't start out in anybody's church. We didn't start out in anybody's congregation. We didn't start out, oh God, knowing these things that we know, but it was the will of God. So he reached, oh God, into my life. He reached where I was. He drew me. And when I got there, he did not reject me. He received me. And when he received me, I believe that I'm thanking God today for everlasting life. I'm thanking God today, oh hallelujah, for life. I'm thanking God today for salvation. And I'm so glad, oh God, I'm so glad it was the will of God that I be saved. I'm so glad today. Mm. Hallelujah. This is the will of the Father. Oh, hallelujah. This is the will of the Father. Hallelujah. That sent me that I lose nothing. It's the will of God that everyone that seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. Saints, I am so grateful. I am so grateful. I am so grateful 
that the will of God is going to be manifested, hallelujah, in my life. I'm so grateful, hallelujah, that the will of God is going to be manifested. I'm so grateful that the will of God is going to be given. And that will of God is that I am saved. That will of God is that I am free. That will of God is that God is manifested in my life. It's the will of God. Oh God, that's it. Start praying, start praying, start praying, start praying and believing that the Lord is going to step in because it's the will of God that you make it. The devil is a whole liar when he tells you you're going to backslide. The devil is a whole liar when he tells you that you're not going to stand. The devil is a whole liar when he tells you that the enemy is going to overtake you. No, it's the will of God, hallelujah, that I make it. It's the will of God that I have everlasting life. It is the will of God that I walk and live in the grace and mercy of God. Hallelujah. I'm excited today. I'm excited today. I'm excited today that he says, and I'm jumping ahead of myself in this book, but he says in this same gospel of John, I will hold them in my right hand. And if I hold them in my right hand, no man can pluck them out. No man. Hallelujah. Saints, I need y'all to be encouraged because it's the will of God that you live, that you make it, that you survive, that you sustain. That's the will of God. Hallelujah. It's the will of God. I want us to pray today for our sons, our daughters, our children, those that might, even if they're outside the ark of safety, if if they're in the, will, in the will of God. Hallelujah. Let's pray that they last. Let's pray for the backsliders today. Let's pray for those that stand in need. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give me just a moment. I'm going to scan, make sure, check the prayer request, and then we're going to pray. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we just have to say thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for strength. Thank you for what what you have done for us. Thank you because, Lord, it is your will that we are saved. That means you had to have chosen us. You had to have selected us. You had to have looked, oh God, shatama, oh God, beyond all of our faults and seen our needs and brought us into this great salvation. Lord, we just say thank you today. Oh God, we just say thank you today. We just say thank you. Oh God, thank you for being the bread of life. Oh God, being our source, being all that we need, being all, oh God, that we possess, Lord, being everything to us. Lord, we say thank you this morning. We say thank you, oh hallelujah, for being our bread, being our water, oh God, sustaining our lives, keeping our minds, God, oh God, we give you glory right now, we thank you, oh God, for life and health and strength, and we thank you, oh God, for this early morning gathering of believers, oh God, that have come every morning, because they love you, because they seek you, because they desire relationships and fellowship with you, oh God, seeking you for the needs of other people, seeking you, my God, for as many as stand in need. God, we approach you today, oh God, because you are the bread of life. Oh God, you're the bread of life. You're the sustainer of life. You're the keeper of life, God, and we love you right now. We glorify your holy and righteous name. Jesus, we praise you now, and we thank you, and we come now asking you, my my God, oh God, to walk in your will, asking you, God, you said it's your will that none perish. Lord, you said it's your will that you receive those that come. Lord, there are people out there that need to be saved. God, we have, oh God, relatives. We've got sons, daughters, children, oh God, grandchildren, mashata, spouses, oh hallelujah. We've got, oh God, parents that need to know you. Oh God, we've got parents, oh God, children, cousins, friends, 
that need to be delivered. You said you would receive them. You said it was the will of God that they, oh God, Shama, oh God, so we're praying now, God, that you direct them, God, that you direct them, God, that you direct them, my God, to where they need to be. Oh God, I'm praying today, oh God, for those who are outside of the ark of safety. I'm praying today, God, for those who have drifted. I'm praying today, God, for those who became discouraged or they were hurt, God. Lord, reach for them one more time. Lord, reach for them one more time. Lord, reach for them. Oh God, reach for them, Jesus, one more time. Oh God, you said it's not your will, Lord, that any perish. Oh God, but in this troubled season, oh God, of sickness and unrest and lack and poverty, oh God, in confusion, oh God, reach into the fire, oh God, and pull out our sons, pull out our daughters, pull out, oh God, our loved ones, reach into the fire, pull out those that we've tried to witness to. God, reach in, oh God, to the turmoil of this time, oh God, and save, God, save, save, ashitama, save, 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 God, save to the utmost, save because we know that you can, save because we know that you're able, God, oh God, and as you're saving, my God, oh God, hear the prayer request, oh God, heal the nation, heal the land, Lord, remember the sick today, God, as many as are suffering, God, heal them, oh God, not just of COVID, but whatever the condition, Lord, we want healing, my God, remember Pastor Jackson today, Lord, remember, hey, God, Mother Foster, remember Mother Holman, remember Mother Tanaj, my shate, oh God, remember Mother Carter, God, in the name of Jesus, remember La Shiatama, oh God, oh God, Mary's family. Remember, oh God, every prayer request, oh God, Lord, and look on the Beale family, my God. Look on the Ford family. Look on the McLean family, the Bryant family, God. Look on, oh God, these precious souls, my God, oh God, who are grieving right now. Look on the Rams of family. God, give them grace and sustain them. Every crying spirit, every grieving heart, God, Lord, have mercy and help them. Give them the comfort, oh Shatat of your spirit. Give them the comfort oh God of your anointing. Give them the comfort of your presence Lord. Oh God because as you save you give us your divine presence. Lord I'm praying today. Oh God for this election day. Oh God. Oh God people boarding up their houses. People boarding up their businesses. God oh God people. Oh God doing all kinds of things because there's so much fear in the land. Oh God that the hatred will rise and stop people from voting. Lord, in the name of Jesus, put a hedge around every voting place. Mashatama, stop the conspiracies. Stop, Oshitama, people trying to silence the vote. Stop, Oshatama, Satanaye, the injustice and the unrighteousness. Lord, stop it. You see it, you know it. Oh, Katama, Etayeshiyama, move your hand, Ishanalabo, Satanama, against those, Ashama, with corrupt intentions and corrupt means. Oh, God, move your hand against them. Oh, God, you are the God. Promotion does not come from the east or from the west. It comes from you. Oh, God, you put up one and you pull down another. Oh, God, have your way. But protect the people today. Protect the people today, God. Protect the innocent today in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I'm praying. Oh, Shanama Satanama. Oh God, for my spiritual son. Oh God, I want you to deliver him today. Oh God, deliver him today, Lord. Deliver him today, God. All of my sons, all of my daughters who have gone outside of the ark of safety. Oh God, deliver them. Oh God, trouble their hearts and their spirits, my God. Bring them back to you, Lord. Bring them back into fellowship. Bring them, God. This week, Lord, do something, Lord. This week, God, do something. Oh, God, bless the first responders. Bless those who have to be out, Lord. Keep, protect, cover in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you now 
Oh, God, because you chose us. Oh, God, I thank you now because you selected us. I thank you now. Oh, God, that it's your will that we make it. Mm, and we shall live. We shall not die. Oh, God, you shall raise us up, God. Thank you for everlasting life. Thank you. Oh, for everlasting life. Thank you, Jesus, for everlasting life. And for all these things and all these blessings, we give your name praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, God, amen, amen, amen. Oh, God, amen, 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 amen. Hallelujah. Jesus, 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 the matchless Lamb of God. Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus, my redeemer, Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, God, everybody, come on, type in a praise, type in a praise. Type in a praise, type in a praise, hallelujah, type in a praise. Thank you, God, type in a praise, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hasha Tamaye. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, God, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Here's our confession today, saints. Here's my confession. Hallelujah, my salvation is the will of God. Hallelujah. Oh, my salvation is the will of God. It's not just an accident. It's not just something that just happened out of nowhere. It is my salvation is the will of God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, my salvation is the will of God. I've got my test. I've got my trials. I've got my flaws. Oh, God, I've got my imperfections, but my salvation is the will of God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I need us to get excited about that. I need us to get glad about that because salvation is the will of God. It's the Lord's will that you live. It's the Lord's will that you survive. It's the Lord's will that you overcome. It's the Lord's will. Oh, God, that you make it through your test and your trials. It's the Lord's will. Oh, Shatana Masetaya. It's the Lord's will. My salvation, my salvation is the will of God. Hallelujah. It's no God. I didn't get in here by accident. The Father chose me. The Father called me. The Father saved me. The Father beckoned me. Oh, God. And Jesus washed me in his blood. And yes, saints, my salvation is the will of God. No accidents. Hallelujah. No accidents. It's the will of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, my God, it's the will of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's the will of God. Hallelujah. It's the will of God. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. It's the will of God. Hallelujah. It's the will of God. Yes, it is. It's the will of God. The hell can't stop it. He tried, but he can't stop it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He can't stop it. He can't hinder it. Hallelujah. That's why you're here. That's why you're still alive. Hallelujah. That's why you're making it because your salvation is the will of God. Your salvation is the will of God. God bless you today. Oh God, our time is up. Hallelujah. And we have to go, <clears throat> but I'm thanking God for salvation and I'm thanking God for all of you and thank God. Hallelujah. As we go today, today is election day. And if you have not voted early, I want you, I'm asking you to please 
be a part of the process and vote. All right. But please go carefully. Please keep your eyes and ears and your awareness about you and ask the Lord to cover you. But go out and vote today. Go out and vote today. Hallelujah. We're praying for your protection. We're praying that God would cover you. All right. And we're praying that God would give an answer to our prayers. I know so many of you have been praying for the nation in this season because there's so many things that are happening that are so uncharacteristic of our culture. But nevertheless, the Lord is going to step in. The Lord is going to step in. So we trust that God will bless you. Be productive today. If you want to be a blessing to Refuge Temple, you can always do that. Um, you can write us at P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can give electronically at RefugeTempleNC.com, or you can give through the Cash App, which is simply the dollar sign, the number one refuge, and you can be a blessing. And, and you know, we don't beg, we don't ask, but we ask. So that, and some people ask us, Bishop, how can we bless you? Here's how you can bless the church. Here's how you can bless Refuge Temple and the ministry of our church. You can stay connected with us. We're here by the grace of God every morning at 630. All right. And as I told some of you, the Lord said, do it until I tell you to stop. And he has not yet told me to stop. He has gotten me up every morning to make sure that we are a part of this morning prayer time. So as long as the Lord says, we will continue each morning with this prayer time of fellowship and the word of God. And we've become like a little family. So invite somebody that needs a blessing. Invite somebody that needs a miracle. Invite somebody that needs to be encouraged and tell them to meet us each morning at 630. Um, you, Refuge Temple is available to you on YouTube. We're available on our podcast on Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Just type in, go to those various um, sites, those podcasts, and just type in Refuge Temple Church, and you'll see my picture and the picture of Lady Davis. Every day, we're on the radio um, at 1130, Monday through Friday, at GregoryGospel.com. All that's on the screen, so if you want to stay connected, just want a little more encouragement, a little more of the word, you can always find us there, and we do this, hallelujah, so that the word of God is out, so that people are fed and people remain encouraged. So God bless you, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Praying that you have a wonderful day, that the peace of God is with you. Until tomorrow, this is Pastor Davis. Shalom, shalom.